Welcome into Seabird Stadium here in Birmingham, Alabama, where this afternoon the Wofford Terriers, one and one in the Southern Conference, three and three overall, are getting ready to take on the Samford Bulldogs, two and one in league play, and three and two overall. The history between these schools about as dead even as it gets since joining the conference. Wofford and Samford are even at three wins apiece. Each of the last two meetings between these clubs have come down to the last possession with the Bulldogs claiming victories in two straight head-to-head -head meetings. Here are your highlights. First and 10 at the Bulldog, 45 going from left to right. Ball on the right hash, Weimer out of the gun with two backs, fakes the dive, late pitch near corner, good yards, Lorenzo Long down the sideline, 40, he's to the 30, out of bounds at the Sanford 29. David Marvin about to try a 43-yard kick out of the hold of Sanders, line drive kick has the distance on the way and it is good out of the gun Eubank with a back sidecar right he's also got a wing to the right two receivers left one to the right for the Bulldogs and now the running back Williams will shift to the quarterback's left on first down shotgun snap to Eubank time in the pocket and now as he looks to throw the ball is knocked out of his hands by one of the Terrier linemen it is loose on the ground Wofford football Terriers have forced a turnover as the second and 10 from the 16, one receiver or wind to the right. That's the short side. Wingbone with a tight end to the left. Weimer fakes the dive, curls behind right side of the line. Francis will line up wide to the left. That's the wide side of the field. Wide right goes Irwin. Wingbone third and five from the Bulldog 11. Man in motion near side. Handoff. Chase Nelson, the fullback, hit at the line of scrimmage. Spins forward to the 10. Second and goal from the three right hash mark. Wide outs either side. Weimer from the gun. Three backs around him in a trap. Triangle, fake of the dive, pitch near corner, headed for the pylon, touchdown! Octavius Harden is in, Terrier score! And that was not Octavius, pardon me, that was Cam Flowers in for the touchdown. Two receivers left, one to the right, and H back to the right will now motion left. That is Schmidt, Eubank out of the gun with a single back. Terriers bring five pass thrown, caught out of the backfield. Williams near sideline with room. Second and 14, Bulldogs from their 33 right hash. Four receivers for Eubank, two either side. Hand off again to Williams, and he'll be hog tied in the backfield and thrown for a loss at the 31. Once again, it is Tarek Odom getting in there. Three receivers to the wide side. That's the left. They'll run out of the pistol this time. Shotgun snap. Eubank play action. Time to throw. Terriers come with a delayed blitz. Eubank throwing deep toward the far side. Doubling try at the goal line. Incomplete. The holder for the Bulldogs is Drew Pearson. And the snapper is Alec Humes. Snap on the way, spot down. Kick end over end, and it is good. Second and nine, Wofford from the 40. Two receivers right, one to the left, a wing to the left. Weimer from the gun, play action. Rolling to his right, throws underneath, and it's caught by Muller. Tight end takes it to the 45. Out of bounds, far sideline at the 46. Jaheed Salmon, third down, a long three for the Bulldogs from their 50. They trail it 10-3 late in the second quarter. Five receivers set for Eubank out of the gun under fire throws caught for a first down at the terrier 45 yard line first and 10 at the wofford 23 trips left a single man to the right for eubank a single back he will throw out of the backfield to williams near side of the 20 up the sideline he goes to the 15 to the 10 and williams will be marked out of bounds at the eight yard line jaleel green was the last man there for wofford and he ran him out second and goal from the eight right hash three receivers left two to the right so an empty set for eubank out of the gun. Quarterback draw takes it to the five and he will get on into the end zone standing. Touchdown Bulldogs. Terriers third down and a yard from the 44. One receiver to the left. They go out of the wing bone. Handoff long. First down and more. Pops through the pile. 50. Lorenzo 40. 30. 20. Run down from behind inside the 10 at the 8 yard line. It is first and goal. A huge run for Lorenzo Long. Brandon Nettles, the corner, caught him from behind. Third and goal. Terriers from the 3. Wing bone with a tight end to the right. One receiver left. Man in motion near side. Weimer throwing back. Back of the end zone, that is caught! Touchdown, Zach Muller, Terriers lead it! 
What a beautifully executed play by the Terriers. Sold a double play action on the run play. Faked the jet sweep, faked the handoff. And then Weimer just a little jump pass. Zach Muller, soft hands in the back of the end zone. And Lorenzo Long with a big chunk of that on a 48-yard run on third and one. Kickoff left to right by Marvin. Will come down at the near hash. Very returnable for Clark. Straight up the hash, 10, 15, and then he is waylaid at the 17-yard line. Yikes. Second and 10 from the 38. Two receivers either side for Eubank. Arizona State transfer quarterback, a redshirt junior. One running back to his left. Terriers are going to rush for Eubank in the pocket. Throws down the middle. That is caught by Oba Chimmy. Breaks a tackle at the 47 to the 45 to the Terrier 40. Two receivers left, one short split to the right, ball on the right hash mark. First and goal from the three and a half, Eubank tosses it away to Sinclair, looking to turn right corner, bangs bodies down to the one yard line. H back to the left, quarterback Eubank out of the gun. He will hand it away to Williams, left side, stretches out, touchdown. I mean, teams from Arizona, I mean, guys from Arizona State, Tulane, Texas Tech, Louisville. I mean, you name it. Sanders gets away an end-over-end -end rugby kick. It'll bounce at the 40 and take a great terrier roll. Inside the 30, inside the 20, it'll be down at the 17-yard line. It's third and six Bulldogs from their 16. Empty set, five receivers for Eubank. In the pocket, breaks down. He's going to scramble. He'll be caught from behind. Knocked over at the 14-yard line. Terry Odom grabbed him by the ankles. It is fourth down. Terrier defense gets a stop. That play lost a yard. The two receivers right. One to the left, two backs alongside Eubanks out of the gun. Terriers come with pressure and they got him. Sacked him at the 31 yard line. That play loses eight yards. Guess who? Tara Godham got in there. Quarterback Weimer out of the gun with two backs. Wide outs either side. Tight end Muller motions left. Play action for Weimer. Going to throw it deep over the middle and it is intercepted. Picked off at the 45, return to the 40, near side 30, down to the 20, and out of bounds at the 18-yard line goes the corner, James Bradbury. Single back alongside Eubank out of the gun, three receivers left. Eubank wants to throw under fire, spins away from the man in the backfield, gets to the 15, and that is all. He is stopped there as the Terriers closed on him. It was Drake Michelson to finish off the quarterback in the open field. Handrahan. 34-yard try coming up. He's from Mountain Brook, Alabama. Good snap, spot down, kick plenty of height and distance. It is good. Ray Smith in motion will set up in a slot to the right. Four receivers for Weimer, two either side. Wants to throw out of the gun, puts it up to the near side, and Muller makes a fine over-the-shoulder catch for a first down at the 44-yard line. Wofford lining up in the old-fashioned wishbone with two tight ends and no wide receivers. Third down in the yard at the bull. Bulldog 47, handoff long right side. First down and more as he pushes the pile forward to the 45, down to the 41. Second and 11 at the Bulldog 42. Four receivers for Reimer, two to the left, two to the right. Here comes a blitz. Weimer will throw far side. Raymond Smith with the catch at the far boundary at the 35. Wrestles ahead to the 30, and he picks up the first down. Worth and three coming up here. Weimer digs it out. Handoff long right side. Pops through the line. First down run to the 20. 20 to the 15 to the 10, it works. First down, Terriers tarp with the safety, tackle in the secondary. Weimer under center, he's going to carry, quarterback keep, did he get it? No signal yet, we are waiting. No signal, the officials are unstacking him at the goal line, touchdown! Terriers! Second down and six. Five receivers again, three left. That's the wide side for Eubank. Terriers three down linemen. They will bring three. Eubank all sorts of time. He's going to scramble left and throw to the far side, and he bounced it in front of the receiver. Or are they going to say he caught it? Yeah. Sinclair with the catch on one knee at the 33-yard line. It's a 10-yard catch at the far boundary for Sinclair. It is now second down and two at the Terrier 25. Tight end will shuffle in motion left. Eubank out of the gun with pressure coming, throws. Sinclair bobbles it. It's up in the air and it will fall incomplete at the 26 yard line. Drake Michelson dove for that ball as it fell to the turf and nearly nearly had what would have been a back-breaking interception. Gates to the right of the quarterback, Eubank. Eubank gonna run it himself, right side slams into the line, and this will all depend on the spot.
Coach, uh, a first half you go up 10 nothing. you're tied at the break. So what was the message at 10-10 at the half? We just told them it, it, it's when we get out there, it's a new ball game. Uh, we, we had done some good things, but we were still hurting ourselves. Um, we, we knew it was going to be a tough football game. We, we've had knockdown drag outs with these guys ever since we've been in the league. The, uh, the, the defense that they played, the, they're, they're big people. You got bare defense inside. You got guys that are 320. And all they do, they just hunker down. And, and it's tough to create a run scene. Uh, I thought Michael did an unbelievable job with the plan that we gave him. Um, you know, the, with that one bad throw, uh, it, it was one of those things where uh, the, the receiver hadn't got completely out of his route. They were doubling up on him, and, uh, and, and we have an intercept. But besides that, we took care of the ball. I thought the kicking game really helped us. Uh, you got Brian Sanders uh, punting the football, and he did a, just an unbelievable job. We uh, did our best to give him long fields all day. And, and really, right there at the end, it, it was huge that, uh, that, that we had the kick that, that we had. Uh, they didn't have an opportunity to return it. And uh, so they, they had, I think it was like maybe 65 yards of field. And uh, we, we played defense uh, right there at the end. It, it was... Um, it was great to see our guys and um, Coach Fuquay and all the defensive staff put a lot of hours in that game plan. And we're getting better. Um, we, we still have some areas of concern, our, our open field tackling, uh, guys just not, uh, not keeping their, their eyes up, keeping their head up. Uh, Tarek Odom, wow, what a player. Um, not only did he play great defense, uh, he came in and he afforded us an opportunity to uh, win the game with a, with a jumbo set. And uh, the seven technique that they had when he hit him, he, he knocked him slap on his back and uh, created some space. And we, we were able to get that first down and, uh, and go on and get the touchdown. So big, big play. Was there any hesitation on your part, fourth and three at their 22? You're within David's range. A field goal would have tied it. What convinced you to go for it in that spot? Well, the, the thing that concerned me, quite frankly, was uh, flashbacks from uh, when we were down here two years ago. Uh, they had their timeouts. They, uh, they were throwing the ball extremely well. And um, I, I felt like that... Uh, if we tie it, they could win it with a field goal. If we score a touchdown, then it's got to be a touchdown. And so uh, initially we were going to do it, and then I, for whatever reason I flipped there at the end. I said, let's go for it. So uh, probably a dumb call, but it worked out. All right, finally, you mentioned Samford's interior line so big defensively, yeah. and then you play power football, the game-winning drive. You just line up in the old wishbone with two tight ends and say, we're going to smack you. Well, uh, what happened, it, it was a formation that they hadn't seen. And uh, we, we felt good about uh, being able to uh, double team at the point of attack at, and have a kick out block by Tarek, which created some space. And then the, uh, the near halfback would be the insert guy to block for anything that folded back into it. And uh, then we handed it off. and. Uh, uh, gosh, just, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Michael, uh, when did you find out during the week you were going to start? Uh, Evan's injury, we just didn't know how severe it was or what was going to happen with him. And um, uh, I found out Thursday, like late Thursday, that I was probably going to get the nod to go. And I was really excited. I'm really sorry for Evan. He's an unbelievable athlete, unbelievable competitor, and I wish him a complete speedy recovery. Take us through that second half. You're tied at the half. They get the momentum going into halftime. Samford scored a late touchdown. Take us through the second half and, and that first drive for score that put you up 17 to 10. It was great work by the entire team. I mean, the, like, I don't know if you all saw how big the D linemen out there were, but the, they were some pretty huge guys, and our O-line had a push. I mean, not every play, but when it mattered, they had a really great push, and our backs just didn't stop their feet, and our receivers made catches when they were supposed to, and I, I just had to get to facilitate the ball the way I was supposed to, and it was great. How about the touchdown pass in the back of the end zone to Zach? That was a phenomenal call. I, 
I got the call. I had no idea that that was going to be the. I mean, I throwing it third down four. I, I, I don't think we've ever done that. So. That was huge, and Zach made a great play, got open, easy throw for me. That was just awesome, awesome by the whole team. And then the winning drive, Wofford, you line up in the old wishbone with two tight ends, a lot of power football, and then you get the call for the what turned out to be the winning score. Talk about that fourth down call from the one. Oh, I wanted it. I mean, I looked over there. I said, quarterback sneak, let's do it right now. So I went over there, got the sneak, and I knew I was getting in. There was nothing, no question about it. It took the officials a long time to figure out what happened there. I mean, I, knew, I was in off the bat, but I mean, there was a lot of pushing down there, so I had to figure things out, but I knew I was in right away. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. So for a third consecutive head-to-head -head meeting, Wofford and Sanford play a football game that comes down to the final possession. Only this time, the Terriers prevail today here at Seabird Stadium, 24 to 20. With the victory, Wofford ups their overall record to four and three, but more importantly, Wofford is now two and one in Southern Conference play. Next up for the Terriers, it's homecoming at Gibbs Stadium Saturday when Wofford will play host to VMI. That'll be a 1.30 kickoff at Gibbs Stadium. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.